Welcome back to Dark Cinema Recaps, where horror is for life, not just for October. Today, we're re-recapping Evil Dead Rise. We did this movie as our second video on the channel, I think, when we use the AI voice. But considering we're doing the whole Evil Dead franchise, I wanted to give it a more up-to-date treatment. And next week, we'll have our groovy Evil Dead collection before announcing the franchise that we're going to be covering next. But... Cousins Teresa and Jessica and Jessica's new boyfriend Caleb are vacationing at a lakeside cabin when a seemingly ill Jessica scalps Teresa and decapitates Caleb before levitating over the lake. One day earlier, upset at learning she is pregnant, guitar technician Beth visits her sister Allie, a tattoo artist and single mother to teenagers Danny and Bridget, who may actually be the worst characters ever. And child Cassie in their home at the Monday apartment in the condemned Los Angeles apartment complex. The building is shaken by an earthquake while the children are in its basement parking lot, uncovering a concealed chamber. Danny, the wet wipe that he is, investigates it, discovering religious artifacts, three phonograph records from 1923, a strange book that he takes up to his room, believing it could possibly sell it and use up the money to help Ali. The initial record details rejected efforts by a priest to research the book, revealed to be one of the three volumes of the Naturum de Monto. The subsequent record reveals that the priest continued his research in secret and recites an incantation that summons, de summons demonic entities known as Deadites. The building's power fails and an isolated alley is attacked and possessed by an unseen force. She returns to the apartment in a trance, menacingly threatens her family, and dies after pleading with Beth to protect her children. Two out of three of them don't need protecting. Honest. It's because, like, they're the worst. Beth and Allie's neighbors help lay her to rest in the bedroom and search for a way out. They find that the staircase has collapsed and the elevator is damaged. Allie revives and attacks the family, wounding Bridget. Beth and the children lock Allie outside the apartment after she pursues and massacres the neighbors. Danny confesses to Beth about uncovering the Naturum de Monto, and Allie tricks Cassie into unlocking the door before attacking her. While Danny and Beth are distracted rescuing Cassie and locking Allie out, Bridget becomes possessed via her wound. You're not missing much. I'm glad she's gone. Bridget attacks Beth before turning to Danny and Cassie, who inadvertently impales her through the head with a broken broom handle. Beth listens to the third record to understand how to exorcise the Deadites, but learns that the priest failed and his allies were all possessed, with only complete destruction of the host stopping the Deadites. Bridget revives and fatally stabs Danny, who sets Bridget on fire before dying as Ali infiltrates the apartment using the vents. Realizing Beth is pregnant, Ali attempts to root the fetus out of her, but Beth and Cassie are able to incapacitate her with scissors. Ali fails to emotionally manipulate Cassie, who accepts that her mother is already gone. Danny and the body of her neighbors are possessed, leading Beth and Cassie to take shelter in the damaged elevator. Ali, Bridget and Danny merge into a multi-limbed creature known as the Marauder and climb atop of the elevator and attack the pair as the machine fills with blood. The combined weight causes, causes the elevator to plummet to the ground floor, allowing Beth and Cassie to flee into the parking lot. The Marauder captures Cassie and attempts to behead her with a chainsaw, but Beth returns and distracts it. She and Cassie destroy the Marauder's body, forcing it into a wood chipper. Allie's decapitated head taunts Beth, saying that she will be a failure as a mother, prompting her to kick Allie's head into the chipper. Beth and Cassie escape the building together. The next morning, Jessica goes to the parking lot to leave for a vacation, where she is attacked by an unseen force. Now, Evil Dead Rise is either one of them films, you either love it or you hate it. There's not really a great deal of in between. I love this film. It's big, dumb, and goofy. The Marauder, the Marauder's cool. I mean, we had a few Marauders in 2020, 2022, 2023, to be fair. I mean, I kind of remember this, did it? it 
Walking Dead did it, and it was kind of cool when I first saw it, but after a bit, I genuinely wonder who has to be the arse. And yeah, man, it's a good film. It's a great film. It's just a goofy, evil dead film. And again, kudos for not trying to replace Bruce Campbell and having that kind of figure. It just, if you tried to do that, it would just be feel like you're just trying to copy it, you know, without it being an homage to the film. Just kind of things like you're trying to be an out and out copy. And when they're not doing that, yeah, it's great. It's great. I, I do enjoy. There's only one of the Evil Dead films that I don't like, and that's Army of Darkness. All the rest of them, to be fair, are the absolute fucking shit.